Hello, friends and family. Welcome to Come Sit at My Table. My name is Tom. My wife, Melissa, is running the camera. Today, we're going to make lemon bread. Now, lemon is one of my very favorite flavors. Anything lemon is something I'm going to like. And this lemon bread is really delicious. But even better than that, it's really easy. The reason it's so easy is because it's made with a lemon cake mix. Now, I guess you could argue that because it's made with a cake mix, it's really a lemon cake, but you don't use the directions on the back of the box. It's got different ingredients, different directions, so it does turn it into more of like a sweet bread. And if you've used a lemon cake mix recently, a prepackaged cake mix, you know that they've gotten smaller, but this recipe still works. So let's talk about what you're going to need. First, you're going to need a lemon cake mix. Any brand will work. It doesn't matter. When I picked this up at the store, there were like three different brands that were there, and I just got the Betty Crocker, but any of those will work, a lemon cake mix. You're going to need a 3.4 ounce box of instant lemon pudding. Now, you cannot use the cook and serve. It must be the instant. So just make sure that it says on the box that it's instant pudding mix. Then you're going to need four eggs. Those need to be beaten slightly before we put them in and we'll do that. You're also going to need one half cup of oil. And I'm just using Wesson canola oil, but whatever oil you want, as long as it's a flavorless oil, will work. And then, you're going to need one cup of boiling water. And yes, it needs to be boiling. So that's all you need, five ingredients. Let me grab a fork and beat these eggs real quick. And they don't have to be beaten well. You just kind of want to break them up. Just make sure they're broken up well. They'll mix up in the blender or in the mixer when you're mixing them. Actually, if you didn't beat them at all, they would still be fine, I'm sure, but I always just beat them up a little bit. So, we're just going to dump in our cake mix. We're going to dump in our pudding. This is so easy. I've had this recipe for, I don't know, well over 20 years, and I've used it numerous times. Scrape that out of there. Should have had a spatula. Put in our oil. And pour in our boiling water. And all we're going to do is blend that up. Now, if you don't want to dirty a mixer, you could easily do this in a bowl with a whisk. That would work just fine. You do not have to have a mixer or even a hand beater would work if you've got a hand mixer. You just want to let that mix for a minute, get everything combined well. And when everything is mixed together, we will take it out and put it in a couple of loaf pans. looks pretty good. I'm just going to scrape. Oh, you know what? We have some cake mix right there that did not get beaten up, so I need to do that by hand. I'm left-handed, and it's hard to do this right-handed. I'm just going to take it off so I can do it left-handed. But 
we don't want to waste one bit of that. So we're going to scrape it all off there. I don't believe in wasting food if I don't have to. I don't see a reason to do all that work if we're just going to waste it. So you can see there was a little bit of my cake mix that didn't get beat up off the batter. So I'll just beat that in with my spatula. And now we'll go into our pans. This makes two loaves. I have sprayed those with Pam. Try to even that up as much as we can. Let me scrape the bowl here. I really like the beater I have with this mixer because it scrapes the sides of the bowl as it mixes. So let's check these and see how close we are to them being even. You can see that this is a really thick batter. This one's much more empty than the other one, so we need to put some in it. Let's see here. Scrape that out. You know, this is really good for breakfast. We often have it with fruit. Something that's really good to have with it is blueberries. And you know, I've even made it with blueberries in the bread. You can just take about a cup of blueberries, dust them with about a tablespoon of flour. If you don't dust them with a little flour before you stir them in, they will sink to the bottom as they bake. So if you're going to mix in something like blueberries, make sure you always dust them with a little flour before you do that. That's good to know. Yep. It just helps them stay in the bat up in the batter and not sink. Um, and there, you know, I'm sure there are other things you could put with it. Whatever you like with lemon, you could put in it, but I just like the lemon bread. It's a very pretty batter. It is, isn't it? It's a beautiful yellow color. Okay. I think I've done as much as I can here. I think it's in. All right. Let's just kind of even that out a little bit. Looks pretty even. Uh -huh. Now... We're going into a preheated, uh, I did the bottom oven, a preheated 350 degree oven for, uh, normally we do about 45 minutes, but that was in our electric oven. In here, we will probably start checking them at about 35 to 40 minutes and see, but 350 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes. When they come out, we will come back and show you what they look like, and then we're going to put a glaze on them. We'll make a glaze to pour over them to let it soak in before we cut them. We'll be back when these come out. Our bread has been in for about 35 minutes, and I think it's really close to being done. So before the timer goes off, we are going to make the glaze to put on top of the bread when they come out of the oven. All we have is one cup of powdered sugar. Now you will find that at the store sometimes under the name confectioner sugar, but it's or icing sugar, but it's just powdered sugar. You're going to need six tablespoons of lemon juice. If you have a lemon that you can squeeze, that would be perfect, but I don't have one, so I'm using this bottled lemon juice that we have. And then you need about a tablespoon of butter that is softened. If it melts a little bit, that's not going to hurt a thing, but just so it's softened and will stir in is all you need. All right, let's stir this together. This won't take long. Six tablespoons of lemon juice. And I'll tell you that I like to pour this on 
and let it sit for just a little while before I cut it because I want to make sure that it does soak into the bread. I don't want it just laying on top. I want it to soak in and flavor that bread. And we'll put in our butter. And don't worry if the butter isn't completely mixed in when you mix up your glaze because when you put it on that hot bread, I promise you, it will melt. All right, we're just gonna stir this together. If you get it stirred up and you feel like it's a little too thick, just add another drop or two of lemon juice. If you stir it up and you feel like it's too thin, just add another little spoon of powdered sugar. All you have to do is just add whatever you need to make it thicker or make it looser. I've got a little bit of butter on my spoon there. Scrape that off. You want to mash that butter up just to try to at least get it mixed in part of the way. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but you can see there's still chunks of butter in there. And that's okay. That will melt and soak right into that bread. Now that's a little thin, but we want it to soak in. So we're just gonna leave it like that. Okay. Let's see if it's ready. That was our timer going off. And let's see, hopefully it'll be ready. If not, we can give it just a little more time. Ooh, doesn't that look good? That's like beautiful. You know, they're really close, but I think they could use just another minute or two. They've actually been in about 50, no, no, about 30, 536 minutes. So I'm gonna put two more minutes on there just to make sure the middle is done. We don't want it to be gummy, especially since we're pouring this glaze on there that's gonna soak in and make it really moist. So when the timer goes off, we'll be back and show you the bread and show you how we glaze it. We've given the lemon bread another couple of minutes. So I think it should be ready. Let's take it out and see. Now that looks good enough to eat. All that's left to do is to put some glaze on it and let it soak in before we cut it. So, let's just take our glaze. You can see here on top how that butter has just kind of, what do you call that? Congealed? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, and that's okay. I would say something fancy like clumped. <laughs> well, that's that works too. Now, you want it to run down along the edges too and soak, down, soak in down along the edge of the bread. But don't forget to get the top of it. You want to get the whole thing. This part right through here where it has kind of looked like it cracked open, that's where it'll soak in really well. And I don't pour all this on at once. I will come back several times and spoon a little glaze over it. Let it soak in a little at a time. If I put it all on there right now, it's just gonna go right to the bottom. So we don't want that. Put that piece of butter right there on top so it'll melt and soak down in there. The glaze also lends to the taste of the lemon and it gives it a little sweetness because it is powdered sugar. So, 
And you can see I've used about, probably about a third of the glaze so far. And that's about all I'm gonna put on it right now. Cause I wanna wait a little bit and put some more on. I won't probably come back and show every time that I'm gonna put some more glaze on it. I will just do that a few times. And then once it's all soaked in and ready to eat, we will come back and show you show you um, how we take it out and we'll cut it and show you how pretty it is. All right, we will be back in, I don't know, let's say maybe 30 minutes. We'll come back and show you.